Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jamila Abbas and I was born and raised in Kenya, a small village near the Somali border. When I was growing up, I was a bright kid, but my parents, as is the case for many parents in rural Africa, were poor and I needed to go and do my national exams so that I can proceed to high school. But this incident is always in my head up to date because I just needed $8 to go and register for these exams. But my parents could not afford. I locked myself up in a room, cried my eyes out, and I didn't know what to do. Lucky for me, I have big brothers. One of my brothers went to the relatives and borrowed the $8 that I needed to sit for my exam. And I sat for my exam here is where I am today. In front of you, I have a farmer in rural Africa. He is in the same exact situation that my parents were in when I was growing up. He's too small to matter because he has a small farm. He produces low volume. He's disconnected from the rest of the world and is out by his own. He doesn't have information, he doesn't know where to sell his produce and how to sell it and who to sell it to. This is the situation for more than seven million households in Kenya. And if you talk about Africa and the developing world, you're talking about billions of households. The system, the agricultural system in Kenya is a broken system. This farmer worries about, here I am, I have just one bag of chilies, who am I going to sell it to? And the supply chain is so long and painful that it goes from the hands of one broker to another broker to another broker until it reaches the buyer. So by the time the farmer gets value for the products that he's selling, it's a third of what its real worth is in the real markets. Now, think about this situation and think about a solution. We came up and said, okay, can this long value chain be changed to become something small? How about this, bringing the farmer closer to the buyer and just have one key intermediary in between? That is possible, very possible, absolutely possible, because we have done it. We created MFARM, designed it in a certain way that most farmers in Kenya who have mobile phones, which is the case about 73% of the farmers have mobile phones, can access a basic SMS, a simple tool that most of us take for granted. How can we use that and turn around their lives so that they can fetch better prices? With MFARM, they're able to find out which market is providing what prices, they can find out who to sell it to. So we give real-time information about markets, but the question is, I have this information in my hand, how is it going to help me? I'm a farmer, I still have that small produce. Can I make another option? Can I bargain with the middleman? If he says no, who am I going to sell it to? So we went a step further from information to creating these MFARM agents that enable farmers to aggregate their produce through virtual groups. They just send in a message. So this gentleman over here is selling a bag of chili. His neighbor, who is in the same kind of weather situation, planting seasons and all that thing, is selling two bags of chilies. So can we aggregate these two and make it three bags? That small farmer who was having just one bag, all of a sudden becomes a big one that matters to everybody in the value chain. I'm talking about basic, simple text. Who am I to tell you this? How do we know it works? We've been seeing for the past two years farmers who have more than doubled their income. I think about this farmer and the little kid behind him. And when I remember my story and how I grew up, 
I can't live knowing that another child has to go through the same thing that I went through. We are empowering farmers by sending them one text at a time. Thank you.